India expressed surprise and concern after learning about its alleged involvement in a plot to kill Khalistani leader Gurbatwan Singh Pannun. White House spokesperson Adrian Watson said that India stated activity of this nature was not its policy. Watson said and I quote, We understand the Indian government is further investigating this issue and will have more to say about it in the coming days. We have conveyed our expectation that anyone deemed responsible should be held accountable. The White House spokesperson further said that the US government has raised the matter with the Indian government at the senior most level and it is being treated with utmost seriousness. This development came after the Ministry of External Affairs or MEA on Wednesday said that it received some inputs from the US during a recent discussion on security matters about a nexus among organized criminals, terrorists and others. However, the statement by MEA spokesperson Arindam Bakchi did not mention where the nexus operated. India's statement was in response to UK-based newspaper The Financial Times' report that claimed the US thwarted a conspiracy to assassinate Khalistani separatist Gurpatwan Singh Pandon on American soil. A leader of the US-based Six for Justice or SFJ, Pandon holds dual US-Canadian citizenship. India has designated Six for Justice as a terrorist outfit. In its statement, MEA said and I again quote, During the course of recent discussions on the India-US security cooperation, the US side shared some inputs pertaining to nexus between organized criminals, gun runners, terrorists and others. The inputs are a cause of concern for both countries and they decided to take the necessary follow-up action. The Financial Times report also claimed that US federal prosecutors had filed a sealed indictment against at least one suspect in the alleged assassination attempt against Pannun in a New York district court. The report comes after Pannun recently asked Six not to fly on Air India planes on and after November 19th, claiming that there was a threat to their lives. He also threatened that Air India would not be allowed to run globally. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.